We're here. There's a hurricane coming yes. to hit the panhandle, and we're gonna get some of it. It's not gonna be like a direct hit, but it's gonna be rainy for the next few days. Yeah. Uh, so we figured we would take this time. Well, we needed to move the hot water heater, and I was like, I need the washer and dryer. Like, I need everything to be working, please. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna work on this some more today. Which you might remember from our last home vlog. I don't even know if it was in yeah, the last, was it? I think so. I feel like it was a long time ago that we did a home vlog, but I also feel like it was last week, so I don't know which one of those is right. Yeah. But also, I did want to um, just touch on the fact that we didn't have a vlog for a few days. And some of you guys may not have noticed, some of you guys might have noticed, but we, we tried to do a video every day. Yeah. But I was so sick, so um, I'm really sorry we had to take some time off because I needed to rest. I literally slept for like two days straight. Yeah. Like, I just slept, so I think I needed it. Mm -hmm. And I think you needed some rest too. Yeah. And he was there to like help me out because it was a lot. <laughs> so, and then Bandit got sick. Oh yeah. But he is not, we have a vet appointment for him so we're not totally sure what's going on, but he was just like getting sick around the house and like pooping around the house, which he never does. Right. But, like that's never been the thing that he did. Um, so we just were like, let's take him to the vet and just see like if anything weird is going on. Maybe he has a stomach bug. I don't know how it works with dogs. Yeah. So long story short, we're back. Yeah. From a little mini break, so thank you guys for your patience, but today we're just gonna get right into the dirty stuff. Yeah. So we have to uh, move the hot water here. I gotta drain yeah. it. Good times. I'm kind of worried because that's like, I feel like even, even drained, it looks pretty heavy. No, I mean hot water heaters are not really that bad. Okay. This is a, uh, what is it, it's like 40 gallons or something like that? I feel like how much does a gallon weigh? I don't know. It depends well, I'm, on like, what's in it. Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna move it with 40 <laughs> gallons of water in it. I'm just saying. But then, so first you were saying, what do we have to do first? You turn off the power to it. Okay, so let's do that. You guys ready for a little bit of behind the scenes? Yeah, let's see it. I already turned it off. Oh no! Spoiler alert. <laughs> we turned it you off. You little stinker. And then we were like, oh, we should probably be filming what we're doing. Oh, what the heck. And so it's already been turned off. Don't tell them all my secrets. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's off. So we can drain it now. <laughs> first things first, we have to hook a hose up to the hot water heater. But first, I wanted to tell you guys how we came about owning this hose. Uh, good times ahead. I feel like I wanted to start this out with, you know, Sophia. I'm sure so many of you guys watch her. Sophia? Sophia? Am you I said, saying it wrong? You said Sophia. Well, Is it not Sophia? I don't know if I've been saying her name wrong this whole- I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm a true fan. I just don't know how to pronounce her name and I apologize. But Sophia Nygaard, she always says, All right. All right. And I wanted to start it out with that. Okay, yeah. that's it. <laughs> uh, so, um, one- I don't even know how to start this. Well, okay, wait. Just really quick. So, right before I got super sick, like, two or three days before I got, like, super sick, this happened. Yeah. Just so you guys know what we've been dealing with. So, uh, I'll start it out like this. Should I close the door though? Because they can hear us. Yeah. Our neighbors couldn't pay their water bill, so they had their water turned off. And they had the idea that in the dead of night. Yeah, so we literally, I feel so stupid that we didn't notice this. Yeah. That's a side thing. We, uh, they climbed into our locked backyard, took a hose, tried to hide it from our security cameras. Which they did, which is so sneaky. Yeah, hooked it up to our house. Literally hooked their hose up to our faucet in our backyard by our pool. Turned it on and started stealing our water. Literally, we, we realized it, I wanna say like, cause they admitted to it. So like three days or four days after the fact, we were like, oh my God, why is this hose running under the fence and yeah. into the neighbor's house? Right. Like, what? <laughs> we were so shocked. And so we uh, called the police. So we, if you guys know, sorry, cause you guys are probably like, what, the police? Well, we've already had issues with these neighbors and I think we've said a little bit about them in older videos. So um, that's why it escalated to that point. But yeah. And so, um, long story short, our neighbor was stealing our water. Yeah, and the other crazy part was that the cops were like not super, like 
we had video evidence of him like leaving our property, our locked property and like going into his house. Also, he we we texted him and we were like, hey, like, did you do this? And he's like, oh yeah, These, his text back, I can't verbatim tell you, but like, he was just like, oh yeah, sorry, our water got shut off and my roommate was giving me a real hard time. She wanted to take a shower, so I just, I just took some of your water. It's okay though, like I'm gonna pay you. And we were just like, what in yeah. the world? It was so strange that his like, he, we don't even really know this guy. Like, and for him to just be like, yeah, it's cool, right? It's cool if I steal from you. And it was so weird. Yeah. Such an entitled like, mentality. Is that the right word, entitled? Yeah. It was so yeah. weird. Just the fact that you would sneak into somebody's yard yeah. in the middle of the night. Your neighbor. Locked, hide everything from a security camera, try to hide the hose, like he put, put like leaves yeah. and stuff over top of it. <laughs> we had like like lawn trimmings, kind of like in a pile, and he put it over the hose to like hide it, like yeah. like in a cartoon basically, like picture a cartoon, it was so weird. And then but him like, say like, oh no, I didn't think it was, I didn't think you guys would think it was a big deal. And it's like, you were trying to hide it from us. Yeah, it was so weird. But then, but we, we got the cops involved and we were like, hey, this is happening. We don't know like how much he's stolen from us. Also, we have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. That was the other thing. They were just like, oh, sorry. Yeah. But we had video evidence, like video proof of him leaving our locked property and going into his home. Like you could see him go into his door. Um, and then we also had the text of him saying, oh yeah, I did it. And, and so, the hose in his yard. Yeah, the, right. The craziest part is that even with the video proof, the text and he interviewed the guy and he said he did it. He said basically verbatim told, told the cop the text. They, they couldn't do anything. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So like really nothing happened. And I guess you can steal from people and it's totally cool. <laughs> so that's the moral of the story kids. If you don't have any water, just steal it from your neighbor. Don't do that. No. But, that's, <laughs> but so anyway, sorry, that's what we've been dealing with. Um, so we've been dealing with the cops for like three or four days in a row, trying to still make videos and not be like upset. Right. Actually the videos, I will say, um, it's such a nice escape Yeah. <laughs> for us. Like I know that some of you guys say that, that you're like, oh, your videos are nice to watch on like a bad day. Our videos are nice for us to film on a bad day because I feel like you can kind of mentally get away from the things that are really bothering you or me at least. I don't know. So thank you for allowing us to vlog for you guys because it really helped me out during that time. So long story short, that's what we've been dealing with. Um, it's kind of overish now, so that's good. So now we're just dealing with the hurricane stuff, but good news is, is that we got this free hose. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah. the cops are just like, just cut it. Yeah. And so we did. Yeah, so now we have it and we are gonna use it to empty our hot water heater and we're gonna just put it into the pool so that we're not wasting this water, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, sorry, I didn't notice you there. I was just admiring our new shower. We love it, look. Well, there's definitely a lot of room in there. Yeah, it's so nice. I feel like um, you never know how much you love something until you like didn't have that thing and then you did have that thing and then you're like, oh my God, I love this. That. Hey. What? Bye. <laughs> oh. I'm oh, filming. Like I'm filming a drilling montage. I thought you were, montage. <laughs> I thought you were filming like a a music video. I am a drilling montage music video. Oh. Wait, so how come these are just allowed to be off the wall? What were they doing? Well, I mean, they weren't <laughs> off the wall before I put them off the wall. Well, I know, but I'm just saying like, you can just, what were they doing that you're just like, oh, it's cool, you can be down here now and not be connected to anything. Well, they were hooked up to the washing machine. Ah, I see, okay. That's not there right now. Well, I know, but I just <laughs> was confused because I thought we were only doing stuff with the water heater. I don't know. So I'm like, cool, this seems like a scam. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling out the water heater montage. Whoa, oh my god. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Whoa, I'm embarrassed of this. <laughs> Why are we showing people how we live? Well, I mean, to be fair, <laughs> what? we're fixing it. <laughs> we are. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> and on today's episode of This Old House, just me screaming into the void. Ah! <laughs> A montage! <laughs> <laughs> we realized that our drywall was not the right size. 
cutting drywall montage. <laughs> this is just gonna be a vlog of montages. Montage. Except for no no montages, just saying the word montage because we don't know the meaning of it. By the time that we're done finishing all the work on our house, Shane Dawson will have finally showed Jake Paul. <laughs> I was just gonna say, actually, I feel like I'm your, um, your videographer today and I was oh. like, I feel like you must feel like Shane Dawson. Duh. Because he has a videographer all the time. No, like, I'm no, your cameraman. I'm trying, trying to think of what Shane Dawson would say in that situation. He'd go, me, wig. <laughs> <laughs> but you but you got to make the face. What's the face? Like, yeah. Well, now we'll do it better. Kind of. <laughs> you're going, you're doing everything so fast, I missed it. Oh, no, I have to do anything. I'm now. a bad cameraman. Fire me. Fire. <laughs> but there it is. It's in the wall. It's like perfect. Look I at mean, that. No. Well, it looks pretty darn good to me. What happened? There's a nail that I couldn't see. Oh no. And then I saw it. There's a nail. There's a light. No, a nail. We already a talked nail. about this. <laughs> what? I was just waiting for the Antissa. Oh. <laughs> Patient. And now we're scraping. Yay. Is that we're just getting off all the old wallpaper? I, I say we. I'm just a part, what, not even participating. I'm just spectating. <laughs> Ooh, so now that we have this one placed, we gotta do this little one. Yeah, which I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do. Here's what I would do. What? I would cut, you see how this side is this high and it like goes down? Yeah. I would cut it all to be one size and then I would make the piece that big. Yes. Is that, am I a drywaller now? Yeah. Instead of a Jake Pauler, I'm a drywaller. Yeah, b -b 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 boy Heck yeah. <laughs> so wait, what are you doing now? I don't have anything to cut this, whereas it won't shake the entire wall. Uh -huh. Cause I don't want to take out to here because then this is like right in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta figure that out. Here's what I would do. Okay. I would make it the size of this side, and then just make another little tiny piece and put it in there. What do I screw it to if there's nothing there? Just like, use your tape, tape them together, and then tape the top to here, the bottom to the other piece, and then the other piece will be taped here and here. So it's like gonna be strong by association to the bigger piece, I think. Okay. Is that, <laughs> is that not how it works? Uh, I think that would work. Okay. Well, so what were you going to do? Uh, Since you know everything. <laughs> I gotta figure that out. There's been a development. What's that? We're hitting things now. Yeah, it's true. We scored this with like an X-Acto knife. Or a... No, I just used the putty knife. Oh, a putty knife. And then he's hitting it out so that it will all be this size, but also there's a stud over here, so we'll have something to actually screw it to. Yeah, I can screw to these two studs and it'll be some great. No, what the heck are you still, what are you gonna do the middle to? The middle will float. Well, I thought mine couldn't float. Why can yours float? Well, because you, you, you were floating it on too many sides. I just don't even understand. <laughs> All right, let's look at this. Wow. Look at that, it's like a, a, a place. Yeah, it is a place. A dirty, disgusting place. Yeah. All right. Hopefully it'll be a little bit cleaner by the end of the day. I just want you guys to marvel at this. Holy cow, I wasn't filming while he was doing this and I just came to look at it and like, look at it. Can you see that? What? Well, that's like he Tetris that in there perfectly. Nice work. I love it. All right, you're gonna help out. Okay. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I've been trying to help you this whole time. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like, Fill like that with mud. Okay. And then you're gonna take a little piece of this. Uh huh. And you're gonna rip it off, and then like put it on top of that. Okay. Okay. All right. Like how? Like a lot bigger than? No, no. Just just enough to cover it. Okay. 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 We're gonna do that. Let's do it. I couldn't find an angle to put you guys at to show you like what I was doing, so I'm just showing you now. But I did that one, and I did that one. Yeah, let's do it. Nice Heck one. yeah. Now I need one that goes from here. Mm-hmm. Over to here. Okay. Like the whole like, way. Yeah, the whole way. All right. But it has to go underneath that pipe. Don't you worry. I got you covered. You got it? Yeah, I'm a drywaller, remember? Oh, yeah. How can I do this so that they can see what I'm doing? Um, I'm going to try. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but we're going to try this. Oh. oh. Yeah, just give me a long piece. Well, no, I'm going to do it. Okay, but I need to cut it myself. Oh, okay. Well, that was it. Thanks, you guys, <laughs> for coming to my TED Talk. What just happened? No, it looks like it wasn't 
necessarily solid. What the heck? <gasps> what is that? So now. What did they put up there? Styrofoam? Oh no. It's, it's. What the heck is this? This is plastic. Well, how is it wet still? Well, I just put it up there. <gasps> oh my God. Why is everything falling apart? Well, because <laughs> oh my God. I was pushing on it a little bit. This is all my fault, really. Okay, so here's the outcome of that. So now we have to do this piece and this piece. <laughs> and then we're kind of done-ish with this part, sort of. Well, you just came back in out of nowhere. And look at this, perfect piece of drywall. Not perfect at all. It looks like it's pretty perfect. No. Do you know what I just realized? What? You know how in movies when people live in like really dirty apartments in like New York City yeah. and like the walls look like this? Yeah. We live in that. That's. That's, that's like literally where we live. <laughs> we live in New York. So. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's what it is with houses that were built in the 1920s, 1910s. This house is 90 years old. It's pretty nuts. Like. Pretty nuts. It takes a lot to maintain a 90 year old house. Well, yeah, like all this. <laughs> so now we're to the corner. Yeah. And this time I say we, because I'm actually helping. Mm. So what we're gonna do is take this, put it through the hole. And then, sorry, I couldn't hold the camera and do the thing, so I'm sorry if you couldn't see that. You're doing great. You guys, I feel like we're coming to a stopping point. Like, we're almost sort of done-ish with this. Well, there's still well, kind of a lot of work left. I'm gonna sand it and then probably redo it again, and then maybe sand it one more time. Like, what you just said it, I don't know if you were recording or not, but like, there's not a lot to work with in this room. Yeah, I, I was telling him, I feel like it doesn't look that bad. It looks really good, actually, for what we had to work with, because the wall was kind of in pieces, like sort of lots of holes. Yeah, and there's like pipes everywhere, and there's a hot water heater in the way. And... Yeah. You yeah. done? Oh no, you're so sweaty. I don't feel terrible about that. No? Let me look at it. No. I mean... Yeah, I feel like, okay, it's going to look a little bit weird right now, but there's going to be some sanding and some filling and some more sanding. And I think eventually it's gonna be a like completely level flat wall. I don't know if it'll be completely level and flat, but it definitely will be a wall mm. at some point. Cool. Like right now, it's a wall, <laughs> but it'll be better. Well, <laughs> I think that's a good spot to stop for today. I'm gonna let it dry and all that other stuff. Yeah, no, it looks honestly for real, like not even just saying this, I think it looks good. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay. I've seen better. Well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff happening here. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of stuff happening here. So, yeah, we're just going to finish cleaning up, so. Yeah. We will see you guys tomorrow. Heck yeah. And now it's time to pay the price.